Hello and welcome to our Cardio Pilates class today. A little bit different to the other Pilates classes you might have done with me because we're going to add some cardio in it. But don't you worry, you will be fine. The way it works is that we're going to have intervals and we're going to do certain exercise time-based. Some of the exercises are not as quick and you can really like take the time to bring the heart rate back down. Other exercises might be a little bit intense. We're going to try to get that heart rate up. We're going to maybe even break a sweat. I hope so. I mean, cardio pilates, what else would you want to do in this class, right? But the good thing is, because it's time-based, you still can do your own time. You try to get as many reps in as possible. Obviously, we are all on very different fitness levels. So if you want to go quicker than I do, or if you want to go slower than I do, then that's totally fine. Our time we work with is 45 seconds. And yeah, that's what we try. We try to get as many reps that suit our fitness level into those 45 seconds in. We have different exercises. I run you through the exercises as we go ahead and we do two rounds all together. So we have five supersets, two rounds, and that is us done. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you do too. Before we get into it, let's just do a quick warm up. And for that, I would ask you to get to the end of the yoga mat. Have your feet hip width distance apart, hands by your hips. Take a deep breath into your stomach, up into your chest. Exhale out, let it go. Now let's go again. Deep breath into your stomach, up into your chest. Next time when you exhale out, cinch your waistline, throw your navel and lift your pelvic floor up. Activate your powerhouse. Keep that powerhouse now activated. Lift your arms over your head. Inhale. And then with an exhale, drop all your legs forward, forward. Walk your hands out to the front of the yoga mat. Find your plank position. Find your neutral through your pelvis. Lift your right leg up. Inhale with an exhale. Step that right foot to the outside of your right hand. Pull your whole body long. Right forearm is level to the floor. Reach now into twist. In. Exhale. Come back down on the inside of your right foot. Let's do that one more time. Inhale. Lift. And exhale. Beautiful. Hands back down to the floor. Step right foot beside your left foot. Come into a downward facing dog. Let your head just hang. Coming back into a plank position, you can round your spine. Lift that left leg up behind you. Inhale. And then step that left foot to the outside of your left hand. Same thing, other side. Inhale to pull body long. Left forearm on the inside of your left leg. And then reach up, taking that breath with you. Coming back down again. Let's go for a second round. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Hand down to the floor. Step it back. Come into a downward facing dog. Stay here for another breath. And then let your knees come down to the floor. Untuck your toes. Sit back down onto your heels. Open your arms over your head. In. With an exhale, cactus your arms and then reach around your back to interlace those fingers behind you. Draw your chest up towards the sky. Lock your elbows out. If it's there for you, come into a forward fold over your legs. And then sit back up here. Stay in that shape just for a little longer. I'm going to run you through the first exercise. Our first exercise is hands underneath the shoulders. Legs step out. And we're going to start slow, more with a Pilates exercise. Inhale to lift that right leg up. Exhale, we bend the knee into our chest. Extend it back out, point. Flex, step right foot down. And then switch over to the other side. So every second exercise, as I said, is a little slower paced where we really come back to a super, super strict form and we allow our heart rate to drop back down. After that, we do more like a cardio pilates exercise. All right, I run you through the next exercise whenever we have that 15 seconds break in between. Just go along with the flow, nothing to worry about. Let's get in position. Plank for 45 seconds. Inhale, extend right leg. Exhale, bring right knee towards your chest. Inhale, flex and step it down. Very good. Inhale, exhale, bend knee towards your chest. Inhale, come back out, point. Then flex and step it down. In, pull right knee towards your chest. Extend it back out. Halfway here, really diving into <laughs> the core strength. 
to utilize it to stay in a good form. Let's go for another 15 seconds here. Beautiful. Flex that right foot. You got this. Last 10. Last five, four, three, two, and one. You can drop on your knees, have a look. Focus is our next pose. Right foot goes to the outside of your right foot and then switch around. Little bounce in between and jump back and forth. Ready, steady, let's go. 45 seconds here, so now you wanna join in and you wanna move as quick as you can so your heart rate actually goes up a little bit beautiful so as i said if you want to go quicker feel free to go quicker if this is too much for you and you feel like you would burn out totally fine there's always the option to step or just jump a little slower good news here we are already at 35 seconds in so last 10 seconds Let's go for it. Five, four, three, two, and your last one. Well done. Come with me. Stand up nice and tall at the front of the yoga mat. Step your right foot back. Have your hands beside your hips. Let's get into it. Arms over your head. Bend that right knee. Come down. Bring your hands beside your hips and lift that right leg up behind you. Bend right knee. Arms over your head. Coming into lunge. From here, lift yourself back up on top of that left leg. Beautiful. So this is our slow paced exercise where we try to drop the heart rate back down. We maintain super form, even though we are already a little bit pre-fatigued. Change your legs now. Left leg steps back. Bend your left knee, reach with your arms over your head, hands by your hips, lift left leg up behind you and drop back. Beautiful. Let's go for another five seconds here. Four, three, two, one. Step that left foot beside your right foot. Come into a hip width distance stance. We are in for jump squats. Bring your arms in front of you, drop that booty down. Ready, steady, let's go. Jump, land softly. Jump, land softly. Great thing about doing this workout without shoes is that in exercises like that we force ourselves a little more uh, to land softly another great way to do that is if you have neighbors living underneath <laughs> and you want to make sure they're not waking up from your workout so imagine that beautiful come all the way down to your heels jump i want to see a little bit of air time toes off the floor good job you're in for another 10 seconds i know you got this Let's push through the last five, four, three, two, well done. Come on your bum, roll up. Next, you know this one too good from my Pilates classes. Lie all the way flat down, come on your back, arms over your head, legs are straight. Inhale, time is on. Exhale, chin to chest, roll up, dive for your toes, come back up, round your way back down. Arms over your head in, roll back up, reach for your toes, come back up nice and tall, roll back down. Lengthen your breathing here, that helps as well to calm everything again. We're going to need that, that reset for our next exercise. Wonderful. Rounding back down, last 10 seconds, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Be on your back. Next one is our crisscross for 45 seconds. So hands behind our head, legs are in a tabletop position. Crunch up and then stay lifted. We are in it. In two, one. Right leg straight, right elbow to left knee, and then swap and swap. So we swap from one side straight over to the other side. I don't want, want to see your head dropping and be sure I am watching. So push through that without cheating. This is our cardio element. So we want to move quick, quick without losing the form, but it's a quick one. Halfway there, give me another 25 seconds. 
You can do that. Come on. No excuses. Last 15. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Last 10. You got this. Maybe speeding it up even a little more for those last five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Come back up. We're going to be on our feet. Turn your toes out. Have your heels sitting underneath your hips. Arms in front of you. Inhale. Exhale. Time is on. Let's go into Pilates squat. Coming back up. Bend your knees. Same direction as your toes. Bring your hands together whenever you press through those heels. So we want to make sure here that our knees are bending the same direction as our toes. If you struggle doing that, bring your feet just a little closer back in. We are already halfway here. Let's go. Deep squat, come back up. Whenever you bend your knees, try to keep those shoulders on top of your hips. So it's not so much of a forward lean. Actually, no forward lean at all. The head stays on top of that tailbone all the way through. Let's go for another five. You got this. Four, three, two, and your last one. Nice. Come on your hands. You're back in our plank position for mountain climbers. So from here, we're going to burn. Pull one knee in, followed by the other, in your time, in your pace, that you can maintain for that time. Ready, steady, let's go. In, in, in. Mountain climbers, it's important to keep shoulders above your wrists and to keep the hips as low as your shoulders. So sometimes what happens is that a mountain climber happens at the back with the butt up high. Doesn't do so much for your core. Rather, slow it down. And work on your form, even in our cardio set. Nice. 15 seconds to go. Let's push through it. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job. Woo. Drop those knees. We're in a tabletop position. Hands underneath our shoulders, knees underneath our hips. In five, four, three, we're going to lift that right leg to the side, two, one, let's go. Open to the side, bring it back in. Open to the side and back in. Wonderful. Whenever you lift that right leg open to the right side, can you promise me to not shift all the way over to the left side? So it's not your whole body, it's just your leg that lifts. Do one more rep on that side and then seamlessly... Switch over to the other side for another 25 seconds. S same thing here. Promise me you're working your little cute butt off to not losing the form. I know you can do that. Come on. Last five, four, three, two, and your last one. Good job. Listen, the next one might be a bit tricky coordination-wise, but you got this. So toes are tucked, knees are lifted. Swing your knees to the right side. Right arm goes up, left leg goes through. From here, pull back into a floating tabletop and switch over to the other side. Let's do it together. Time is on. Knees up. Left leg, right arm. Back to center. Left arm, right leg. Once you feel the movement and you feel familiar with it, Remember, it's our cardio element. So feel free to speed it up and jump from one side straight over to the other side. Woohoo! Beautiful. You're looking good. I can feel the vibe all the way my way. Let's go. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Amazing. So this was round number one. You're going to get straight into round number two. Do you remember? Going to start in our plank position. In three, two, one. Let's go. Right leg up, point. Knee to chest, flex. Straight back out, flex that foot, step it down. So I know sometimes you can carry it away a little bit with whew, the pump and you want to go quick. But here in this exercise, it's actually the slower you move, the harder it gets. Because the more time you spend just on three points, and it makes our body work harder. So 
In this case, quicker is not necessarily better. 15 seconds here, don't worry. Our quick exercise will be straight up. Another 10. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Frog is our next exercise. So prepare yourself by stepping that right foot beside your right hand, lifting the left knee off the floor. Gonna swap our legs in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Bounce, switch, bounce, switch, bounce, switch. Slow it down if it's too much. Speed it up and skip the bounce. If you feel high on energy, I won't hold you back, girl. I won't hold you back, boy. Do what you can do here. Beautiful. Nice. Loving the sweat here. Let's go. Halfway already. Last seconds. Don't slow down now. You know the next exercise is to slow down. Not this one. Hold it tight for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job. Come into a stand. We do our lunges. Let's start with the left leg this time. Stepping the left leg back in 3, 2, 1. Bring your arms over your head, bend left knee, lunge. Come all the way up, balance on your right leg. Drop left foot, bend left knee, lunge, and come back up. Beautiful. Whew. Gain control. Find your balance. Move through smoothly through those exercises. Do one more, and then switch legs. Right leg back, arms over your head, hands by your hips, float right leg up. Very good. 15 seconds here. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. 15 seconds rest, and then we do our jump squats. Maybe this time a little higher, a little quicker. Up to you. You're going to go in 5, 4, 3, 2, drop that booty. Let's go. 45 seconds here, landing soft. Remember your neighbors. Woo. You don't want to be a pain for them. <laughs> you just want to have a good looking bum, right? <laughs> so, drop soft, push through it. Woo -hoo -hoo. I'm having fun, hey? I'm having a great time. Loving this. Let's go for another 25 seconds. Oh. And I'm breathing heavy. Let's go. 15 to go. Let's not slow down now. We can do it. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Roll up next. Oh, love that for me to catch my breath. So come all the way down. Five, four, three, two. Let's go. Arms overhead, chin to chest. Roll up. So again, very important. Don't be carried away by the go, go, go mode. Here we slow it down, which means the roller comes from strength. We're not using any momentum. And the roller down is also very controlled. Arms overhead in, chin to chest, roll back up. This is halfway. Oh, I don't even want it to end. It feels so good. Ah, wonderful. We have another 10 seconds now. See how many more reps you can get in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two, one. Remember, we have to end down at the bottom for our crisscross. Bring your legs up into a tabletop position, hands behind your head, lift head and shoulders off the floor. Three, two, one, let's go. From one side, cross over to the other side. There's no drop in your head. There's no drop in your shoulders. We pump it out. Hmm. Yes. Also, bring some attention to that leg. You extend long to the top of the corner, man. Make sure it really goes all the way down. And make sure it goes all the way straight. 
So don't shortcut your movement just because we're going to go quick. You still want to find the full range in your movement. I hope that distracted you because now it's only 10 more seconds. Yes, sir. Let's go for our last five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Ladies and gents, we are almost there. Let's come back up, standing nice and tall for our plie squats. Turn your toes out, squeeze that butt. Have your arms to the side. Three, two, one. Let's go. Plie squat and come back up. Hmm. No poking bum. Keep that bum in. I know, I'm all about show what your mama gave you, but not this one. Not in here. Hide it. Tuck it under. <laughs> Let's go. We are already halfway here. Bring the heart rate back down. You know, the following exercise is a bit more full on. So we want to make sure we're really fully recovering here. Let's go for our last Ooh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and your last one. Mountain climber up next. Find your way into your plank position. Hands underneath your shoulders. You're going to go in five, four, three, two, one. Bring it. Oh. Keep those shoulders above your wrist. Keep those hips low. And then push through it. Also, can you please actively bring your belly button towards your spine for some extra points, some bonus. You can do it. Good news. After that, we only have one more superset. So we're kind of already there, which means we can start to do our celebration reps. Come on. Loving it. Last 15 seconds here now. Go. Push. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop those knees. Maybe come off your hands and your wrists just for a second. We have our side leg elevations up next. Let's start on the left side. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift and close. Lift and close. Stay centered with your spine. No leaning over to the side. So be true to yourself and to the range you have here. Higher doesn't necessarily mean better. You need to work in your range. So it's really your butt that is doing the work and not your whole body shifting. Let's go over to the other side. We're halfway there. Wonderful. Woo. Last 10 seconds. Loving my sweat here. Like a good detox at the same time. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. You know what? 45 seconds, it's all of this left. You can do it. Sit through, right? So we stay in that tabletop position. Tuck your toes under. Float your knees. Let's go. Time is on. Left leg, right arm. Jump over to the other side. Left leg, right arm. Right leg, left arm. Yoo-hoo! Beautiful. Same thing here. Try to keep those shoulders above your wrists. And move through that floating tabletop so we don't end up in a plank position. We keep those knees close to our wrists. And I know you can do that. If you can't do it in this speed, slow it down. Work on your form. Come on. All you have to do now is another 15 seconds. Smash it. Finish strong. I know you can do it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Woo! Woo! Celebrate yourself. You are awesome. This was awesome. Look, take your time now. Maybe do even a third round through. through. I won't hold you back. Take your time. Stretch it out. Bring that heart rate back down. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know in comments if this is something you would like to see a little more. And other than that, I just wish you a beautiful day, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is where you are. Mm, lots of love.